How much can you expect to pay in capital gains tax when it comes to selling your home? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and if you're anything like me, you want to avoid or minimize your tax burden when it comes to doing just about anything. And a large tax that's out there when it comes to selling a home is a capital gains tax. So when you sell a home, the government wants a piece of your profit, right? Of your gain. So if you bought your home for 200,000 and you sell it for a million, they're gonna take a percentage of that $800,000 profit one time and you're gonna owe it, right? So how much is that? And are there ways to avoid it? I'm gonna tell you that in today's video. First and foremost, to understand this, on your primary residence, the home you live in, they're currently, as I'm shooting the video right now in 2021, there's currently an exemption. So for a single person, you get a $250,000 exemption against capital gains tax. So if you bought it for 200 and sell it for 450, that $250,000 in profit, zero tax. And I say that currently because in the future, I don't know if you guys are following what I'm following, but taxes are going up and they're getting rid of incentives like that. So right now, $250,000 for a single person. For a married person or persons, $500,000. So you get $500,000 in exemptions against capital gains tax. Now here's the catch. You need to live there for two years. So if, you're, if you've lived in your primary residence for two years, out of the last five, but two years, you're exempt. If you were had a primary residence and now you've moved out, the time's ticking, right? The clock is ticking. So it has to be two out of the last five years. So if you moved out of your home, you, if you're out of there for three over three years, you're gonna lose out on this capital gains exemption and have to pay it when it comes to selling your home. It's not a good thing at all, not a good thing at all. So if you're wondering how much you're gonna pay in capital gains tax, you live in your home, get a hold of us, we'll let you know how much. Now, here's the cool thing about it is, if you buy your home for 200, everything you've put into it increases the base, what they call the basis. So it reduces your profit on, when it comes to selling your home. So that's the biggest tip I wanna give you guys today is that on your primary residence, you're exempt, exempt up to $500,000 on capital gains tax, profit, if you've been there two or the last five years, and 250 if you're a single person. But be warned, that could change, people, that could change. They're trying to up capital gains tax in Washington State at certain price points. So Washington State's actually saying, hey, we want to, get, we want some taxes on all of this sale, all this real estate sales money they're seeing. They're like, we want a piece of that too, right? So just be warned. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. My bet is taxes are going to be put into place and it's going to be on the capital gain side of real estate. So if you want to act now, smart to look into, smart to look into, especially if you're moving out.